Greetings. I am a dragon alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. I am once again playing Fallout 4, and I have arrived at the castle, where I did a little bit of extra building, and I essentially have made myself a dedicated engineering section. Where I can just set up my robots, my power armor, the workbench, the usual stuff. It's not complete, though. Once again, so very low on steel. But we have the workbench ready, and we must talk to Ada about it. Hey. Yes. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? I'm not quite sure, but if you say it's the only way... Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? I'm not so sure. Fine, let's get this done. It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Well, this is either going to be the lead we need, or this is going to be a horrible, horrible mistake. Radar beacon. I do not yet have anything I really wish to add to her yet. Well, I could help upgrade stuff, but... Hmm, do I really want to? Yeah, I may as well. Well, she's in there and I got a little bit of extra resources to spare. You certainly know your way around a workbench. Not quite sure what to make of the whole new head, but... I suppose it works. And you're not going berserk and killing us all, so that's a plus. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Okay, so at least it's not modifying your programming. I hope. Yeah, think he knows that you kind of hacked into his wavelength. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. Well, at least she's taking precautions. It's the best I can deal with right now. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Hmm, so... what? We need to keep getting more of the algorithms? Break the encryption? Which means the one I destroyed isn't the only robo-brain under mechanist control. Yes, and we can use this to our advantage. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Yep, I pretty much figure that much. And... Well, I don't have to ask whether it will work. It will work. So... Alright. Let's get let's this do done! Good. Let's get started. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. So what you're telling me is bring pulse grenades. Or an artillery barrage, if they're in the open. Whichever works. <laughs> nice little animation there. Wear me out. Yep, this place is... Well, I gotta say, this place is a little haphazard in the way I built it. Institute construction, a garden... Well, I don't really know what you could... Did I not... I completely forgot to install the secondary part of this roof. My greenhouse is incomplete. I will have to fix that later. 
and a miniature bunker on the inside. Well. I have no idea what sort of threats I'll have to deal with now that the Institute's gone, but it's good to have someplace to fall back to in case things really get dicey. So where am I supposed to go here? Oh! It's really close by! By Andrew Station! Well, I'm gonna set myself a bit of a walk. I already had to clear the way coming to and from the atomic... Uh, what do you call it again? The atomic robotics... Ah, uh, whatever. I cleared the way. It's... There's nothing between here and there. May as well just fast travel. And now that we're here, let's make sure to take the high ground. And make as much noise as possible while opening and closing those garbage bins. Uh, at least the sound of gunfire should cover my approach. Or so I hope. Did the raiders come back yet? I don't think so. But it sounds like... What was that? Who are you? Oh! Well, whoever you are, I know that's a hostile. Oh, those are a lot of hostiles. Lots and lots of hostiles. No firing lasers! No firing lasers! Oh, take cover! What in the world was that? I haven't seen that since Fallout 3. Where'd it go? Where did it go? I lost track of it. Hey, <laughs> yes, yes. A lot of protocols for violence here. Completely lost track of it. That's not good. That is not good. Mm, gonna have to do a bit of roof hopping here. Try and reestablish contact with it. While I stay on the high ground. No way I'm fighting this thing face to face. If I can help it. Oh, there's a bit of a spoiler. Yes, yes, hide in the building. Completely safe in there. Yes, yes, you suddenly have a giant hole in your torso. For no other reason than a sensor glitch. Whoever installed this brain did not check on quality control. Why is that missing? I suppose I could just throw, lob in a grenade and finish it. Are you still there? No, I know you, are. you know what? Drop in. Time for a bit of a... Stormtrooper time. Hello! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, oh. Apparently, my Ripper does not do quite as much damage against the Robo Brain as I would have hoped. At least I took the thing attacked. Okay, yeah, that's just creepy. Giant lens installed right on the brain, right on the frontal cortex. Something on top, too. Alright, Ada. Job's done. And I'm not completely dead, so there's a plus. Look around for a bit of extra loot, if possible. Oh, right. The other robots. And whoever I just saved back there. Not quite sure who that was. Random laser rifle. Might have been one of my provisioners. Another repair kit. With any luck, I don't have to use it. Ooh, another mechanist hollow tape. What is that? What is that? I'm going to guess it's going to be related to. I am here to save you, people of the Commonwealth. Do not mind all of my crazy robots killing everything. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the mechanist. 
have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. Yeah. He sure did a lot of good saving with you, didn't he? I mean, I didn't know who you were. For all I knew, you could have been some sort of cheat and scam artist, but... I'd like to not assume that about everyone. Oh, there was another settler? Wow, they really butchered these people around here. Well, we got that holotape. And the radar. Well, the beacon. Eat up! What can I do for you? Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. I like how I'm still snarky. Even without having to be... Having to choose it. Right? It was worth the trouble, I suppose? Getting it was worth the trouble. I'm sorry if retrieving the component caused you any harm. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Again, not quite what I meant. Well, at least... You're doing something with this stuff. Where... Where are we hunting? So, where exactly is the last Robobrain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. When is it the ever good? The is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Uh, Rust Devils? I'm familiar with Fort Hagen. That's where I killed Kellogg. But the Satellite Array? And who are the Rust Devils? Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? A bunch of raiders with a robot army. I suppose that was a logical outcome, wasn't it? Well, at least I know where they are. I know where I have to go. And... Let me just check. Is it anywhere near one of my settlements so I can artillery shell it? And soften up the... No, no. The closest place is Grey Garden. Or Sunshine's Tiding Co-op. But I don't know if they're going to be in range. It's either that or Overland Station. Well, in any case, I'm going to be heading towards Sunsh Sunshine Tiding's Co-op. And... Teleport there, fast travel to Fort Hagen, and find the satellite array. Hmm, but do I really want to shell the place? Might have some nice salvage. Hey, screw it. I'm going to shell the place. Nice salvage there might be, but it isn't worth getting shot up over. Properly hydrated, but still peckish. So, scroll on a stick. There we go. Much better. Back to the castle I go. Let's go quick. Oh, wow. Radiation storm came in really fast. Alright, one second. Drop off whatever junk I took. Drop off any mods in the workbench so I save a little space. Alright. Sunshine Trading Co-op. Here we go. I'm wondering. I never tested this out before. Will 
teleporting me from one place to another change the weather? Is there localized weather? I suppose the radiation storm could be that big that where it's covering the entire area. So, either I'm just still in the area, or the weather is just simply all the same throughout the Commonwealth. It would make for a nice experiment later. Alright, towards Fort Hagen! The place is still as charming as before. Now that the Institute's gone, I wonder who's moved in now that this place is... Well, I suppose I could consider it secure. I'm rather surprised that said raiders haven't moved in here yet. And I take the coffee pot and the coffee tin. I am so badly low on steel. Oh, there's a satellite array. And unfortunately, it's on quite some high ground. I keep going up this road. They're going to spot me. I can't be having that. I like to scout out ahead. See the lay of the land. So we'll be taking a slight detour around the road. With any luck, I should see what I'm walking into here. Oh, that's new. Let's see, one raider, two raiders, three raiders. Hmm. Don't know how many more there are. It's gonna be hard to sneak up on that, especially with that sentry over there. Ah, there's more robots over here. Yeah, if I snipe that sentry, that's gonna tick him, tip him off real fast. Might just have to go around before I set that artillery flare off. Okay. This little crevice should hide my approach. And let's hope I'm close enough to one of my settlements that this will help even the odds. Oh, they kind of noticed Ada. Ada, take cover. We should not be going in there quite yet. This is Radio Britain. My apologies. They have lost Target locked in, General. Lost take cover. Oh, good. I am in range. Still would like to shoot at any of them that come too close. Especially the ones that will be out of range. Oh yeah! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh! That's a bit danger close, isn't it? Oh yeah. I should stop standing around in the open like a lump and actually take some cover while I watch this. Mm, some of the, the... The dishes are taking most of the damage, unfortunately. But it is doing damage. Why am I not seeing any of the impacts? Ooh, there's one I see. There's nothing more relaxing Signing off. than seeing a nice shelling. Okay, that softened them up quite a bit. Nope, not gonna leave anything that I can carry. And you're gonna be carrying quite a lot too, if I can help it. Ooh, that was a legendary. Ghoul Slayer Super Sledge. Interesting. I suppose you even need to smash some skulls. That works. 
Now, let's creep in. It's no sure thing that I've completely leveled the place. They even have their own set of armor, too. Interesting. Oh, wait. That's something. Oh. I thought that was something that was floating due to it being jet powered or having thrusters. I, I didn't notice the chain. Ooh. Okay. Apparently, my artillery shelling blew up the traps. Which makes sense, I suppose. Also, took out the turret. Excellent. I spent a lot of resources getting those artillery pieces into place. I may as well make use of them. The rust of old. Ooh, what did I pick up? What did I pick up? That was a weapon. That was a short something. Yeah. Uh, I don't want this. You can keep it. Huh, I didn't notice that before. If you're not holding anything while you use your jet pack, you see your hands. Anything else I can take from here? Hmm, interesting assault rifle, but it's not worth it. Okay, I leveled the top deck. But what's down below? Ooh. Into the life of another raider. Rustable Terminal. Rust Devils only. Might in the machine. Hanging your door override. What do you want to do? Look out, duty. Rust Devils. With all these mechanist spots on the loose, we can't afford to skimp on lookouts. For all we know, the bastard is planning a raid to take all of our bots tomorrow. No lockjaw. This doesn't mean you can set three bots to patrol the area and take a nap. I want at least two... Living, breathing humans patrolling the perimeter at all times. And let me know immediately if you see any strange bot come up the hill. Ive. I suppose I have to open up the hangar door to get inside. There's only so much shelling that artillery piece can do. I gotta clear the bunker the hard way. Thing coming out. Nope. Fort Hagen Hangar. I hope you can climb with one claw because otherwise getting you back out with those stiff legs is going to be a major issue. Find the Robo Brain. Huh, now that does actually bring up the question. How did the Robo Brain get in here? Did the Rust Devils capture it? In which case, the Mechanist would know about them. Oh, they set up traps. There's the obvious trap. Where's the subtle one? I always assume that if you can spot a trap, that it's meant to be spotted. It's a good way to keep yourself alive. Okay, that takes care of the tripwire, but is there anything else that I did not spot? I'm guessing that's going to be my exit later. And I'm guessing this is the trap. Assault Tron Totem. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I leveled up. Now, as I said before, I'm going to be holding off on topping off my stats to get some skills in robotics. Since it's only going to take two more levels, this should be rather quick. If I'm going to be dealing with a lot of mechanoid enemies, I may as well deal with it the old-fashioned way. Oh yeah, time to lob something down there. And 
Plasma mine's probably overkill. I got a spare fragment. Fragmentation grenade. Fire in the hole. Very good. Wait, what? Oh. I was wondering why I wasn't hitting him. Some sort of the geometry was blocking my shots. Typical. At least the grenade worked as intended. Blew both of the robots up without a problem. Huh, now that I think about it. This is a military base with a hangar. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? That sounded like a laser musket. Who opened that door? Eat out? What are you doing? What are you do? Rogue robots. Movement up top. Movement in center. Fire in the hole. That's one or two down. I couldn't tell. But it certainly cleared something out of the way. We're not walking out in the open. That's a kill zone. Ooh, that was a very nice shot on my end. Oh. Where are you? Where are you? Ida, you need some assistance? We already have a big enemy nearby. I need the light. Okay, drop down behind! Sorry, you only get one drop. Sprinter's combat armor left leg. Very nice. If Ada wasn't a robot, I would have equipped her with that. So far, so good, though. Slowly... Clearing the place out. Oh, the hangars for tanks! They have tanks! Or are those flak turrets? No, these are... Yeah, these are... Huh. These miniature tanks or are these flak turrets? Hmm. Either way, I want these. Why can't I bring these out? I want to fix them up and drive them towards my settlements. Yeah, having artillery pieces are nice, but mobile armor? Oh, I want my own fleet of these. Yeah, flying around in a vertebrate is nice and all, but having your own convoy to drive around, around in style? Brotherhood of Steel, sure, you can keep the air. But if we have anti-air, if we can't fly, Neither can you. That should keep them out of my hair in case they get all uppity. And considering that I'm going to be delving knee deep into tech that they probably regard as dangerous and should remain under their purview, we're gonna have to come to loggerheads at some point and having some anti-aircraft pieces would be very nice. Eat up. Heads up. Yes, sir. We I'll got some trading to do. For. Wow, why do I have four of these? Why am I carrying four of these? Ah, never mind. Just take all the junk. You know what there should be? There should be all your junk stored on me, give to you button. Considering what I pick up on a regular basis, I would be hitting that button as many times as I do the trigger on my gun. Power armor stations. Two power armor stations. I'm going to have to run into two people with power armor later, from what I'm telling here. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Time to pull out the lance again. Well, 
I'll say this much at least. The loot around here is excellent. Uh, unfortunately, I gotta keep just trading all my gear and stuff for you. What is weighing me down? It's probably all the armor and the guns, isn't it? Yep, it's all the guns and the super sledge, of course. Okay, there we go. That significantly frees up some space. Anything else? Coffee cups, chemistry jars, plastic bowls. Nope, it appears I cleared the area. Ooh, ah. Thought that was a piece of a robot that I could pick up and slap onto Ada later, maybe. Still looking for Assault Tron spec gear for her. Especially the legs. I really prefer my companion to be mobile. If I can install a jetpack on her. Ooh, yes. I really need to install a jetpack on Ada. That way she can follow me anywhere I go. I don't have to worry about leaving her behind somewhere. And there's nothing scarier than a killer robot with a jetpack. That's on my side. <sighs> Such potential. But that'll be for later. And that, it looks like there's still quite a bit more of this fort to go. <sighs> with that in mind, I think I'm going to put an end to the episode here. When we come back, I'm going to finish clearing the place out. And hopefully I find more pieces of equipment that I can install on Ada. For now, though, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell.